Okay, Debbie. You got this. Mom, Mom, I think it's working. Oh, huh. I didn't actually expect that. I uh, thought you were dead. We got here as quickly as we could. I could feel the tremors inside my head. It's like I knew. It's all coming undone. For as long as I can remember, I've seen a great darkness on the horizon and thought to myself, I sure hope that great darkness doesn't blow up today. I'm pretty sure it just did. So now what? We're gonna fight it. Right, Mom? I don't think so. Are you serious? What am I saying? You're always serious. But why? Wh what's wrong? Something has been displaced, or it's like a tapestry that's coming undone. I don't know how to explain it, and I certainly don't know how to fix it. Somebody must know. We can't just sit back with a bag of popcorn and watch the end of the world pass us by. What can I do? I don't know enough about this darkness. All I have are the voices in my head. Joseph would know. He was always the one who knew what had to be done. And I was the one who knew how to do it. Even when I was a child. Only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's go see old Joe. You know we can't do that, Kyra. We haven't spoken in years. They just turn us away. Blood is thicker than water. And that's not always a good thing. But it's family! And it's about saving the world! Or at least this little piece of it. You're the one who keeps telling me that family's all we got. And we need to stick together through thick and thin. We're in the thick of it now. So you have to talk. And they have to listen. But it's not just me and Joseph. It's Frank and Joe. It's the other people in the tribe. The wounds go all the way back to your grandfather's death. And they're too deep to mend. They're not going to listen. And they're not going to help. We've been neither a tribe nor a family for a very long time. We're on our own, Kyra. Old people can be so stubborn. And yeah, that includes you, Mom. If you're not going to do anything, then someone needs to. Someone who doesn't give a crap about any of this stupid family stuff. Before it's too late. <sighs> Debbie, Debbie, oh my God! Yeah, I lost, yeah. I, lo I lost your your signal. How? What happened? How did you get out of there? I think, I think, um, Ami teleported me out somehow. Oh. Oh. But I, I think I almost died there. Like, like, like proper died. Like proper died. Like finally died. I felt that. Whatever that, whatever that was, whatever force he unleashed there, it was, it wasn't just, he was trying to unmake me. Fuck. I don't know any other way to describe it. Fucking hell. I can't fight him. Damn it, it's my fault too. It's not your fault. You, you couldn't have known what he was doing. It's logic. It, 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 yeah. Ah, he's the god of lies. It's, but it's so obvious in retrospect. If I, if I, if the, there was a, there was a door guarded, blocked by like by Gaia's power, which I used Gaia's power to unlock it. Which, how could he have gotten through that door if I hadn't been dumb enough to unlock it? He played me. Yeah, even though it's the god of it's the god of lies, that's what he does. But still, <laughs> he probably could have killed me in the in the Illuminati archives. He knew I was listening in. He was expecting John Wolf to save me there. 
Good. Debbie, you can't expect, you know, to to out you know, to completely outwit the god of lies. Now, you did something you didn't expect, though. What? You survived. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I wonder if he even knows I survived. For someone in as many stories as he is, I genuinely don't think he would have told you his plans if he knew if he thought you you were going to survive. Yeah. Time passes, echoes fade. In 1971, a new company bought the mine and commenced extracting ore. The drills kissed more deeply than ever before. The shadows blushed. The Wabanaki again opposed the violation of their sacred ground. The conflict turned violent. Overzealous foreman Edmund Franklin shot and killed the tribe's medicine man. A dream dancer died. And another echo was added to the craggy shafts. That was... That was Ami's father. Mm Mm-hmm. I just felt it's the first time since I've really got my powers that I felt powerless. Like I was going to die. I was going to die and there was nothing I could do about it. Well, you had people looking out for you. That doesn't change anything. It doesn't make it much as much better as you would think. Oh. It means I've, it means it, what what you're doing out here. You're not just saving the world. You're saving people, and yeah. you wouldn't have. They wouldn't have come to save you if you hadn't helped them out. Yeah, that's not something that just happened. That's something that you did. I remember. Yeah. KG's cynicism about me helping people out. Guess that. Guess I disproved that. But. Whoa. Oh, that's weird. Um. I don't know what they are, but. I don't think there's anything to do with them right now. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, because I... But still, that that feeling of powerlessness is something that I I thought was behind me. You know? Mm-hmm. Tragedy grows on an exponential curve. Edmund Franklin went free... The Wabanaki were outraged. Guilt is a feeding cancer. And the foreman later hanged himself in the attic. Mutilated bodies of miners were found at the Blue Ridge Mine. Again, it shut down. The echoes. Not... The echoes. I don't know. It's just... It just felt... It's been a long time since I felt that powerless and cornered and trapped and... Mm. Helpless. I don't want to fight these things right now. Yeah. You know, Debbie, uh, I was able to tell my sister what the Illuminati was going to do to her before, you know, before. And she tried to escape from them. I was, I was watching them. I was patched into the security systems. And, you know, she tried, but she couldn't get out. Just defenses that can stop a bee. You remember how they got you when you came in. Yeah. I tried to help her. I tried to guide her around, but in the end, they just, they got her. Yeah. And I had to watch. 
and thought that might be what was happening again. That's it. I'm I'm sorry. No, it's that I don't. I know. I just mean it's it's not. I've never been in like that kind of danger. But you know how it feels to be helpless. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> Man, this this place really hates mail trucks. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Well, stay down. Yeah. Have you noticed how the zombies have come a lot less important lately? They have. Wow, they're they're pretty well armed here. People yeah. just walking around with wait, they have electricity, they have Wow. Uh, they're just they they got they got bingo. Yeah. Huh. They have bingo. Hell yeah. Did the fishing shop back? The, I mean, back in Savage Coast have have, have electricity? I think so. yeah, it did. But this is uh, this not like this. They just had a gen generator. This is like it's like there's not even a zombie apocalypse happening, except for all the people walking around with you know, yeah, assault I mean, rifles. Ordinarily, I just say Murica, but. These are native America. Yeah. Different, different thing. I feel terrible for her, for what's happened to her family, to our entire tribe. I don't blame her for not trusting us anymore. It wasn't like that when Ami was born. We were a tribe. Her father was killed. Did you know that? He stood up for our beliefs. He tried to stop the miners from digging too deep. That was where it began. Some of the tribe, some of us, thought he was being unreasonable, that he was asking for trouble when he confronted the company, that blood would be shed. Him and his brother Red, they wouldn't listen. Said it was now or never that the miners had to be stopped. Foreman put a bullet in his head, emptied his gun at the rest of us. He was screaming like a man possessed, like something had him, was inside him. His eyes were burning. His shadow. His shadow was twisted. There were riots. Senseless violence, arrests. Then came the storms. This island was ravaged for weeks. After it all quieted down, the rift in the tribe was too great. Some, too many, left. Others, like me and Red, we stayed behind, but it couldn't be mended. It's a terrible thing to have to choose between the people you love. But I was tired. And I wanted to look ahead, not back. And there was too much weight to carry. Too much darkness. That is how Ami grew up. In the shadow of a broken family. So I understand her better than she thinks. I took the wrong path. And now it might be too late. But we have to try. Ami is right. We must trust her instinct. Something in the land has been displaced. Something has been broken, an oath. If we had kept to our word, if we had maintained the wards that protect the mountain, this would not have happened. 
The wards were built by our forefathers and the visitors who helped fight the darkness the last time it fell upon us. Together, the two tribes created a seal that has protected us for generations. It has kept the darkness out, and it has kept the greater darkness locked in. We were chosen to protect and maintain it. A thousand years the wards have lasted. Until now, we have failed. And now we have to mend what is broken. And like our forefathers, we cannot do it alone. <sighs> so you get a little misty at that, too? A little bit, yeah. <sighs> I really hate this fucking Beaumont guy. We can't turn our backs on him. He's way too powerful. Omni is right. This old Joseph seems to know his stuff. Maybe there's some truth in the war wards he talked about. Go check them out and keep us informed. In the meantime, we'll research and see if we can learn anything about this engine. Whoa, she's being... She's, like, actually Promoted. treating this Fact like a job. Congratulations, Broker. Take care now. Broker are broken. That was dark, but a good pun. Oh, you're really approaching best of breed in this sector. Did you sell insurance in a previous life or something? Okay... Hold on a second. Right. Let me get out my scooter. I mean, so, Debbie, is that, that scooter really a better option than just running? I mean, yeah, of course. Why? You don't seem to be going any faster than, like, you normally would. I do run pretty fast now. It honestly kind of looks like you're moving slower. Look, I want to rest my legs for a bit, okay? Uh, fair enough. I got... I, yeah. I, I kind of been through some shit, okay? Yeah, alright. That is that is fair. Whoa. Well, that's... fucking ominous. Yeah... I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, oh shit. Well, these guys don't seem too bad. I wonder about the rest of them. It just... Look, that, has me, that had me rattled pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably good to take it easy. Crows. What do you think they okay. want? I don't know. I'm just making sure it wasn't Revenant. Oh, yeah. Right. Fuck those things. There's the Orochi camp. What is they doing? What they were doing in there? Look, just... It's... It's... It's really kind of fucked me up there. Kind of fucked me up too, but uh, oh, oh, but okay. I I can I can I can power through this. Yeah. All right. We got a plan now. Mm-hmm. Sort of. Closest thing we got. I mean, you know, like from my perspective, the world hasn't ended yet. That's good. But, like, I, I don't know how this... Because I'm in the past, but it's also the present, and... I don't know what's going on. It's probably better not to think too much about it. Oh, look, I thought I was checked by the CDC, and... Oh, there's a survivor here. Hi. How are you doing? Behind this very expensive... 
his official government suit, I'm just a normal gal. Hopes, dreams, ambitions, faith in my superiors and my government. I had that before the fog, before I saw the filth, before I realized why they sent us here in the first place. All lies. Big, fat, stinky lies. Wow. You'd think a I'm... government employee... <laughs> a government employee would be trusted with the truth. But no. I guess it doesn't matter that you've dedicated your life to public service, that you risk your health and sanity in service of your nation. I have served. I have sacrificed. I have given so that's much. Guy. And all I want mm -hmm. in return is to be trusted. I served too, and it and sucked. The government is more likely to share their secrets with the private sector, with the Arachi group, than their own. What the hell does that say about our leaders? About our nation? About the future? I'll tell you this. I don't trust Arachi further than I can see through my visor. And with the amount of condensation and dirt buildup I'm dealing with, that's not far. Not far at all. She is the sanest person we've met. Hey! 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 Halt! No closer. I'm getting some weird... some weird readings. You might be infected. Everyone here might be infected. I'm with the CDC. I represent the government. So you have to listen to me. We have... I have... This is a quarantined area, and I have authority here. That's why I'm wearing the suit. That's, that's what the suit means. It means the fecal matter has hit the fan, and we're staring... Oh, honey. Seven deadly eye. This... Frankly, this poor, shrink-wrapped like cinnamon roll. Hug. Oh. Vulnerable, especially after the others were exposed. Uh, terminally. They expired. D died. They, they, they died. Horribly. Cursing, screaming, gasping, vomiting, clawing their own eyes out. It was icky. And then, when it's finally over and they're all dead, you think... Hey, that sucked, but it's done. They're gone. We can deal with that. But oh no. Rising from the dead, shambling ghouls, glowing eyes, tentacles, black slime. Not even your standard government-grade Category Z reanimated corpses. This what? is brand new terrifying. Run for the hills terrifying. Despite all that training, you, you just want to skedaddle. She it said skedaddle. Just Debbie, you give this girl a hug. We've been shipped in to support okay. the Iraqi group, not the other way around. Oh well. I thought with the Democrat in office, we were past these kinds of oh 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 honey oh 2012 oh honey oh oh honey oh topical body and soul yeah the filth that's what they call it for real. How the hell do you work with a name like that, the filth? You're just asking for it. So if I were you, I'd keep my distance. Safety first. I am definitely not telling her. <laughs> she needs a hug. She needs all of the hugs, Debbie.